Drosophila has been the workhorse of genetic studies for more than 100 years and shares approximately 75% of its genes with humans. We have industrialized the use of Drosophila as a model for high content screening, for the assessment of disease progression, for behavioral measurements, and for the understanding of drug and disease targets. In the fly room, we cross the flies containing the tissue-specific driver to flies containing the inducible human disease genes. Utilizing this system, we are able to express the human disease genes specifically in the Drosophila central nervous system. In this example, we see 14-day-old Huntington disease flies. Their gait is erratic and uncoordinated. All of our models are validated through rigorous biochemical, histochemical, and pharmacological studies. We have incorporated genetic tools for large-scale gender selection, including heat shock-induced cell cycle arrest genes and GFP. These elements are critical for generating enough animals to conduct our high-throughput behavioral assay. Exploiting the GFP element, we are able to employ a modified flow cytometer to select for only female age-matched embryos, each carrying the expressed disease genes. Meanwhile, test compounds are mixed into the food with the help of an automated liquid handler. The liquid medium is aspirated into the mobile tips and transferred to a 96-well plate containing compounds. All racks are barcoded to ensure proper tracking. Once the food has solidified, flies are transferred onto fresh drug. This process ensures a renewed supply of food and water to the assay flies, as well as fresh drug daily. Our custom robot is capable of transferring 96 vials of flies to fresh vials in just over two minutes. These racks of flies are then placed into the assay machine where their locomotor behavior is assessed. The robot taps vials, knocking the flies to the bottom. The machine captures the fly's innate climbing behavior in video format. Notice how the flies in vial 3 display a degenerating speed phenotype compared to the non-diseased flies in vial 1. At maximum capacity, we are able to assess 1536 individual vials, each containing 10 flies, over the span of 3.5 hours. These videos are then assessed using custom analysis software, where each individual fly's path is documented frame by frame. Subsequently, these tracking files are analyzed using up to 120 different scoring metrics, such as speed and average height. The metrics give a quantitative measurement of phenotype and compound effect. While we specialize in compound screening and validation, our platform can be manipulated to run more traditional target discovery or validation assays such as forward genetic screens. For further information, please contact us at www.vitruvian.com. Thank you.